Hi my sweet people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to finger comb your hair and style it afterwards. This video is actually inspired by a conversation I was having with one of my girlfriends recently. She was lamenting over the fact that she's seen so many videos where people talk about finger combing their hair for years, but she's never actually seen how that's done and she doesn't know how it's possible to actually style your hair from finger combing. If you would like to see how you can style your hair after you've finger combed it, stick around. I'm starting with my hair in bantu knots. Let me just go ahead and remove these. So you simply unknot them. When it comes to removing your bantu knots, simply always twist the knot in the opposite direction from how you twirled it. And that makes it loose and easier to remove. Something I want to mention before I get started, I have actually not used any combs or brushes on my hair for the past 10 days. I had flat twists last week and I took them out and I had a twist out. I then finger detangled that, finger combed it and put the hair in bunch knots. So what you're looking at is hair that's only been finger combed. Okay, let's start with finger combing on dry hair. But before we get started, I'm just going to pack away this hair in the middle. I have a particular hairstyle I would like to try out. So I'll just pack away this hair in the middle. As you can see, there's a bit of a distinct curl pattern from the bunch of knots. So the first thing I'll do is basically kind of unravel and break that curl pattern. And then I simply start separating the hair, starting from the top, working my way to the bottom. I start separating it. So what I'm doing is simply separating the strands by spreading them so that they don't get attached to each other. And I separate them from the top, but I kind of work my way downwards so that I also I remove them from the bottom. The thing about finger comb being dry hair, you won't be able to lose whatever pattern that you had before. So this is the most that I can actually do with finger combing on dry hair. I guess when it comes to the way I finger comb the hair, I'm not necessarily combing the hair downwards like the way you do it with a comb or a brush. I'm simply actually spreading it and separating the strands because they're clamped together. If I try to do it in a downward motion, first of all, it will get stuck and I'm not looking for that. That if I do this, I would actually end up losing more hair. So I simply have to spread it and that's it. This is it. This is how my hair looks like when I single comb it on dry hair. The thing is, since I've done it on dry hair, I won't be able to use the curl pattern. If I want to break the curl pattern created from the bunch of knots out, I'll have to moisturize my hair. This is all I'm going to do in terms of finger combing my dry hair and the curl pattern is going to remain, but that's okay. The hairstyle I have in mind needs me to have a bit of a curl pattern. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm simply going to move my hair in the middle. You may need a soft bristle brush to comb your hair to make sure that you don't have any lines that are sticking through. But if you feel like your hair is nice and smooth and you don't have any bumps, you may not need it. So taking my hair clip that I already have, I tie away this hair at the top. As I mentioned, you may need that soft bristle brush to just make sure your edges are nice and smooth. Okay, now taking this hair in the middle that I never worked on, I just fluff out my curls and just make it fat and fluffy. Now 
I'm just gonna take this hair at the back and I'm just gonna fold it taking a hair clip I tie the edges off then this is where you start playing around with your hair figuring out how to make it look nice and neat so I kind of want a blend between what's in front and what's at the back so I've taken these two and I'm just gonna wrap them around my little buns there let me just turn around for you so I've those two fluffy bunch of notes I had and then I just put this like kind of at the back using my my bobby pin I just secure them and then you just have to continue playing around with how you want the hair to look like so play around fluff it out if you need to fluff it out And then I just go back to just fluff the hair a bit more. And this is it. Nice, neat, and a little updo that you can wear to the office. So this is a possible hairstyle you could do on dry finger comb hair. For the next part, I'm going to show you how I finger comb using water. 